Hello everyone, welcome for today's session. Today we are going to see how to write to regex in IBM Curator. In this session, we will cover the basics of writing regex. So what is regex? Regular expression or regex is a string of text that allows you to create the pattern that helps match, locate and manage text. In IBM Curator, we use regex to extract the piece of the data from the payload. What is capture group? A part of pattern that can be enclosed in the parenthesis is a capture group. There will be one or more than one capture groups while writing the regexes. We're going to see about the capture group in the practical session. So here is the cheat sheet for writing regex. So slash t means one digit from zero to nine. Slash capital D means one character which is not a digit. Slash W is word character that is letter, digit or underscore. In opposite of that, slash capital W is one character which is not a word. Slash small s is a white space character that is space, tab and new line. Slash capital S means one character which is not a white space. Plus means one or more. For example, if you write plus with w, that is slash w plus, it means more than one word character. Star means zero or more. Question mark means once or none. Dot means any character except a line break. So you can use the dot with star question mark. Slash is a escape character. Slash small t means tab. Pipe is or operand. Square braces means one or more character. For example, if you write slash d slash w, which means one character that is digit or word. Asterisk means start of string. But when you write the asterisk inside the square bracket, that means not. For example, in the square bracket, if you write asterisk x means one character that is not x. In curly braces, if you write anything, that means that number of time. For example, here I have written curly braces 3 means exact 3 times. You can use it along with word or digit. For example, if you write slash d curly braces 3, which means 3 digits. You can define range in the square bracket. For example, square bracket a hyphen z means one character within the defined range that is a to z. Let us see some example of regexes. So here we have number of input present and we need to capture a single word character. So I have used slash w. So now we have used slash w plus which means n number of word characters slash d is a single digit so you can see here wherever the digits are present it is captured slash d plus means one or more digit now if you wanted to capture a spaces digit and word so here we our aim is to capture one two three space a b c which contains digit space and word in that case to capture digit we have written slash d to capture spaces, we use slash s. There is single space, hence I have used slash s. If there are multiple spaces, we have to use slash s plus. At the end, there are words. So we use slash w plus. In the next example, our aim is to capture single character within the range a to z. So the regex is input equals, if you can notice here, our capture group within a capture group there is a square bracket in the square bracket we have defined the range a hyphen z if you wanted to capture a single character which is not a space you will write the regex as slash capital s if you wanted to capture two digits so you will write slash d in the curly braces two you can see over here only two digits are getting captured so if you wanted to capture everything, 
so here input is equals to again a capture group in that dot star dot means single character star means zero or more so you you can see here everything is getting captured so if you wanted to write a regex where you wanted to capture everything which start with i you will use a caret caret i dot star equals and whatever you can write in the capture group if you can notice here input equals to add rate 23 underscore abc is not captured because word character do not include special character slash w include underscore hence you can see here 123 underscore abc is captured if you want to capture anything which is not started with a you can use caret in the square bracket caret in the square bracket means not so here we have written input equals to square bracket caret a which and you can see everything is captured which is not starting with a last example which i wanted to show you is or operand so if our aim is to capture anything which is starting with input or output i have defined it in the capture group so there are two capture group over here one is capture group input or output equals to another capture group and you can define any regexes so this captures input and output now let us go to the curator and write a regex to write a regex we'll go to the dsm editor once the dsm editor is open type universal dsm or you can select any dsm for which you wanted to write a regex for now i will use universal dsm you can paste the sample payload and start writing a regex go to the property and select the property where you wanted to write a regex i have selected event category click on override system behavior select regex over here write the expression we wanted to capture device type is equal to eStreamer as an event category. So if you can notice here, eStreamer is a word character. So I will write device type equals to then capture group. In the capture group, I'll write slash w plus. It will capture everything. And you can see here, I have only defined one capture group. So I'll just write dollar one and then click OK. And if you can see here, the category got changed to event streamer. Let us capture the event ID as impact alert data dot event ID. I'll just copy this and paste it over here. Equals to, and you you can see this is a digits. So I'll define a capture group, and within the capture group, I'll write slash d plus. And again, we have defined only one capture group. I'll write dollar one. And then click OK, and you can see here the event ID got captured. So we'll see one last example to capture the source IP. I'll just type source space IP. I have found source IP. I'll click on override system behavior, select regex, and capture the source IP. So impact alert data dot source IP address is a source IP. So we'll write will capture this as a source IP. I'll copy and paste it over there and then create a capture group and within a capture group we'll need to capture this IP address. So I'll write slash D to capture a digit as the IP address is not more than three character digits so I'll just create a curly braces and inside a curly braces I'll define the range one comma three. Again after that slash escape character dot Again, there is a digit, so I'll write slash d one comma three, and we'll repeat the same process. If you have noticed that I have captured a source IP address and the capture group is dollar one, just make a note of this. The source IP here is default one twenty seven dot zero dot zero dot one. Now I'll click OK, and now you can see the source IP got captured. Once you are done with writing regex, just click save and that's all. So thank you for watching the video.